Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to flash the Omega ROM for both the i9-500 and the i9-505. So as you can see, in this video, I'm running an i9-505. That is the Qualcomm Snapdragon variant. I also do have a 9500. So I'm just recording the audio on this. Um, on this phone for the video so I have tested it out on both the 9505 and the 9500 that is both the Qualcomm Snapdragon variant as well as uh, the Exynos Octa-Core and it works this method works perfectly so don't worry there are two links in the description the first first one is for the i9500 that's the Exynos Octa-Core variant without LTE and the second link is for the i9505 that's the Qualcomm Snapdragon with LTE as per your model number, select the respective link that will take you to a thread on XTA developers forums. So over there, you will find the ROM. Just go ahead, download the ROM from the download section there and uh, transfer it to your internal memories. So once you've transferred it, first off, go ahead, uh, take a backup of your custom ROM, anything that uh, any apps or whatever you want, because we are going to do a factory data reset here. All right. Uh, no matter which ROM you're on, I'm currently running Cyanogen Mod 10.1 on my uh, Galaxy S4 i9-505. No matter what ROM you run, uh, this tutorial is applicable for you. So what you do right now is hold the power button and power off. I've already downloaded the ROM and transferred it to my internal memory. So once, you're, once, you're, once the phone is off, Hold up volume, power and home at the same time. Let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy S4 displayed. So now once you're in your custom recovery, guys, I'm, I'm using uh, TWRP custom recovery. You might be seeing clockwork mod based custom recovery. Don't worry, it's very similar. I'm going to walk you through what needs to be done. So even if you have clockwork mod, there is no, uh, you don't have to be worried about it. I'll let you know what needs to be done. So the first thing you do is select wipe, select advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache, cache and data. And now swipe. So if you're using a clockwork mod based recovery, just select wipe data factory reset from the first menu you see. And right below that, you will find wipe cache partition. And at the end, you will find something called advanced. So go into advanced and select wipe Dalvik cache. So going back, back, back. So now tap on install and select SD card. And from there, just select uh, wh wherever you transferred your ROM to. So I've transferred it to uh, SD card slash ROM. So if you have clockwork mode recovery, it's going to be install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and uh, just select the, uh, select uh, whatever you want. So right now I've selected it and uh, just swipe to confirm flash. So this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, I'll be back with you guys once it's uh, done flashing. All right, guys, it's done. So once it's done, hit reboot system. On clockwork mode recovery, it would say you need to go back and select reboot system now. So again, guys, this works at the same way. The procedure is the same for the S4S. I mean, for the Galaxy S4 i9-500 as well as the i9-505. So don't worry about it. All right, guys, we're up here. So let me quickly get through setup. So all right, there you go. We've got the Omega ROM. Just to confirm, going into settings, more about device, and there you see Omega version 2.0 and running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean.
So that's pretty much it guys for flashing the Omega ROM onto your Galaxy S4 i9-500 or i9-505. If you guys run into any issues or if you have any kind of questions, uh, you can hit us up at cursedforever.com slash forums. And if there's any other video tutorial you'd like to see made, uh, you can contact me at Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Links to all my social networks are in the description. So go ahead, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let people know it worked for you. Because, you know, first time you are flashing a ROM, sometimes people are nervous and there's nothing as reassuring as seeing more people uh, post that it worked for them. So, so leave a comment. That's pretty much it for now. Hope you liked the video and uh, I'll see you guys with another one. Till then, it's Asher from CurseForver.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.